We are GIA Productions, and people are always asking me, what does GIA stand for? Is it Greg in Action? No, it's not. It's actually God is Awesome. God is Awesome Productions, because he is, right? Um, we've been through so much. We've done so many different things since we started here at Toronto West. Um, been to so many different churches, so many different schools, all throughout the, GI, uh, the GTA. Um, and we're really happy to be back home uh, I don't think we've actually performed or done a program here uh, since we started here. So it's, it's amazing to, to be invited back and to do something here tonight. Um, so the first, uh, the first thing that we're going to do, actually, um, and as my sister mentioned, uh, we're in, and I'll tell you a little bit more about it later on, but we're in um, hairdressing salons and uh, barber shops, and we're performing pieces and then after we perform the pieces, we interview uh, the patrons as well as the hair technicians about what they've just seen and we get their opinion on what it is that they've just seen. Um, so, and we're gonna have a series uh, you know, about that coming out um, later on this year, so look out for that. Um, so one of the topics that we're looking at in the hairdressing salons, and is, sorry, is Caroline McCoy here? Caroline McCoy, can you, can you just stand for us please? We performed at Caroline McCoy's hairdressing salon. All right, it's a good establishment. Everybody that left there left with a smile that day. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, Caroline, for allowing us to come there. Um, we've gone to Caroline's, to Nanny's, uh, to Onyx Barbershop, which is one of the barbershops where some of the Raptors actually get their hair cut. Um, so we've been to a few different, sorry? Yes, and Lowell, the owner of Onyx, actually was the one who did the children's story this morning. Um, so, yeah, so we've been to a few, different, um, a few different places, and one of the things that we are looking at is infidelity in the black community. Infidelity in the black community. So this first piece that you're about to uh, see is called the infidelity complex. I want you to think critically about what you're seeing, and how uh, it has impacted maybe your life or uh, the life of someone you know. Um, and I want you to uh, be ready to talk about that after you see this piece. Um, so this piece is performed by David Seal, who is a son of this church. You guys remember David Seal? All right. Marcus Pilgrim, also a son. And Anike, where's her mom? Uh, <laughs> I should have known right up front, all right? Um, yes, who is also a daughter of this church and has a lot of family that goes to this church, right? So please give a listening ear to the infidelity complex. I can hear them, both of them getting at me. Gradually grating on my sanity. One caressing, the other commanding me. Circumstances stressing, demanding me to roll the dice on public opinion and throw my decision out there like when LeBron chose to take his talents to Miami. Either way, I sway somebody's gonna be mad at me. Wanna keep my choice quiet? <laughs> Wanna keep my choice quiet like Kawhi did, you know? Move on and see if time will heal the wounds eventually like my man been sanity. This is my life, right? So then why does my history constantly dabble in dictating my destiny? Legions of demons determined to get the best of me, incessantly irritating, informally implicated, and connecting me to situ circumstances I didn't create, and now I'm stuck in the middle of this great debate and my manhood is at stake. Make me proud, son. It's time for you to finish with this one girl business. That lifestyle is senseless. You can't let the family legacy diminish. Your mother raised you too soft, stuffed you with medicine each time you cough, and now for you to control more than one woman, you seem totally lost. That girl you have there, she's nice. But here's my father, your grandfather's advice. He said, if you could have five loaves of bread, why would you settle for just one slice? Look at me. Look at us. I can trust you, can't I? You won't cheat, you won't lie, you won't leave. I won't deny that I have my doubts about whether I could ever truly believe a man, receive a man into my heart and let him take up residence. But this evidence, 
is too hard to ignore. I'm into you, you're into me, and I'm sure that this, this is right. It's all right to say it. Go ahead, say it. Okay, I'll say it first. First thing I need you to understand is that a man has needs. And if a man succeeds in filling his needs, a man will have plenty seeds to show that his deeds were duly done. You see, my son, this, this is nothing new. And if I didn't say it in words, you could surely see it in the things that I do. You can't fault me for loving women. I love women. It's my nature, my nature. Be fruitful and multiply, young guy. Those are the words from the creator. I'm just trying to make sure that you and I are following orders. I love women. I love the one I'm going to see tonight. And I love the one I'm going to see before I see her. I love you. And I'm all in. But I feel like you're Stalin. You're not playing me, are you, baby? No, no. That's not some other chick calling, no, is it? No, no, no. <laughs> nah, forget it. You're not the type to run that on faithful player hype. I know that you're mine. And soon enough, you'll find the right time to tell me what's on your mind. But as for me, I signed up for exclusivity, no others in close proximity, and no extracurricular activity. Because we both deserve the love and honesty found flowing freely in monogamy. Monogamy. Just me, just her. Totally opposing my father's philosophy. Going against the grain of what's been ingrained, seared into my brain through observation, plus conversation equaling socialization. An equation that's created a mantra, uh, a mantra for man to follow for generations. Great girl on this side. And over here, I'd do almost anything to see some pride in his eyes. Whenever he did come around, I found that all he did was criticize, but surprisingly, I still want him to acknowledge the man in me. Pass the testosterone test and pop quizzes were more than just a 50. I got to be half man and half amazing just to keep half my manhood from deflating as far as either of them are concerned. Habits are learned. Bridges are burned. Expectations are great no matter which way I'm turned, concerned, because I don't want to lose her. Affirmed by any attention I get from him. I love one woman. He loves enough women. Break her heart? I shouldn't. But I value his opinion. You've told me about who your father is, and what your father did, and how your father lives, and how he's fathered kids with many. Your father's status is probably viewed by more than a few as legendary, but I see a different path for you. You could be the one to break through and prove that those tendencies are not hereditary. Bury beliefs that strive to keep you from being faithful. Before you turn your back and choose to act in a role that you were told is yours, take a good look at what's on the table. You don't have to pretend or turn in a performance worthy of an award from the academy. You're the man because you are not because you can check off boxes on a so-called list of masculinity. Son, your girlfriend is cute. Wow. But don't get it confused. Anything out of her mouth is strictly women views. You listen, you lose. You see me, I paid my dues. And flowing through you is my DNA. So I will have the final say. You can try to run away, but I'm sorry, son. Your destiny is a pre-chosen one. Your grandfather, his father, and me are all the same, so your deal is sealed and done. Don't try to fight it. Invite it, face it, embrace it. The next generation is supposed to go even harder. You're going to play the same game as me, just better and smarter. The choice is yours. You could be your own man or your daddy's boy. The choice is yours. You could run this game as a grown man or be her little toy. The choice is yours. I have you, you have me, we have God, and us three, we can do it. We can make it. Nothing's impossible. So let's go. The choice is yours. Beanie Man said, man, for have enough gal, gal in a bungle. And Biggie said, he peeled more skins than Idaho potatoes. You, my son, need to heed the verbal lesson in their floats. Two sides, one life. Lots of ladies or one wife? The choice is yours. The choice is yours. The, the choice, choice is, is always yours. yours. Oh. 
I heard a big reaction when he said, Beanie Man said. So I know what your Sunday listening habits are. <laughs> Stop judging, assuming, quick caught in, presuming, you know that when I'm